Happy New Year, Matt Rory. Hi, Brad. How are you? I'm doing quite well. Awesome. How was your How was your break? Uneventful. Good. Until this morning. The best kind. In the virtual world. Whoa. <laughs> what? There is no time. Where's that? Where's it coming from? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> I think there's a. <laughs> ah! <laughs> there's a sh- shooting d- virtual ghost <laughs> flying around in the studio. <laughs> Oh boy, Jeff. Yeah. New Year. Uh huh. Same old tired uh, cowboy jokes. Yeehaw! <laughs> Yippee ki yay! Roping them. Let's check out some. <laughs> Riding them. Check out some VR. That's right. Uh, we spent some time here. Uh, getting a room scale Oculus Rift setup going. Oh yeah. With three sensors. So I've got. Count them. One okay. here in the, the front left. Uh-huh. I got one in the front right, and I got one behind me. Okay. For full 360 spin in action. That now, I mean, is that effectively the exact same as a Vive would be at that point? Um, there, some people are doing experimental four sensor setups, but I don't really quite understand why you would do that. I haven't really been looking into it too much. Um, three does get you room scale, because if you think about it, with the, the default two, which is when you... If you just have the headset, you only need one. Okay. If it's headset and the controllers, you need two, and they want them up front, which leads to the same situation you sometimes get, though less less of a problem uh, that you get with PlayStation VR sometime, where if you're turned away, uh, it, it loses tracking oh. of your hands a little bit. Sure. Uh, so this third sensor in the back sweeps uh, out in and gets some of that stuff if you're turned around. So I have not had uh, a ton of experience with a three sensor setup here with the, the Rift stuff. I only have two sensors at home. Um, I think you're about to. But I think I'm about to. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a while since you know we've been having to run USB cables and install USB cards to get the USB bandwidth situation under control because these sensors all have to be plugged into oh, the Oh, right. PC. Each one is its own USB port, yeah, right? Jeez. Yeah. And, and so that's been a problem for us for some time. We have solved said problem, and now we can take a look at some of these games that have only been available on the Oculus Store. Um, so a lot of these are twenty seven. These are, I think, all twenty seventeen games. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, but uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at some of these. Looks like they've been putting some stuff out. Yeah, yeah. There's some stuff, uh, and and some of these games are also available on Steam uh, and and stuff like that. Um, so it's kind of a a wide array here. I can get these games to launch. There we go. Uh, we'll start out with something simple. Just to break it in here, this is Shooty Fruity. Hmm. Which is, it involves shooting and fruiting. And WYs. Right. Everybody's yeah. favorite middle Yeah, boy. everyone's favorite. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're going to spawn in kind of a, an area here before you start the level. Uh, kind of a 50s grocery store vibe. Yeah, yeah. You, you are working in a grocery store, and it, it'll print out some. Nope. Oh, almost, geez. Almost lost that. Top of the range grenades now at the vending machine. Hmm. Okay, all right. Well, that's, that's great. <laughs> the, ca- the casual toss, the casual VR toss. <laughs> wow, bless you. Mm, excuse me. I was trying to make sure the mic didn't pick it up. Wow, those things break really well. And you know, that's I, like that looks incredibly satisfying. It is because if you think about it, a lot of VR breakage involves you picking it up and throwing it. Right. But having your hands be solid objects. Uh, yeah, like because even cause, in this refined setting. Is there anything else you can? I kind of want to see more of that. Nice. <laughs> this looks really good. Um, is, is really satisfying. I can't even like, pick up this chair. I can only knock it around. Oh God. Oh, wow. Geez. Well. Holy shit. Can you flip the table? No. No. Oh, the tech uh, isn't quite there yet. Yeah, and, and we can only really teleport. Like I, I can't uh, do free teleport, it seems. It seems mm. you can only really teleport to the p- points of interest. So I've only played one level of this. So this is a vending machine where you unlock more stuff. Um, How much cash do you have? I have 9,400 juice. <laughs> um, and the gun I want is 12,000. I could get a grenade, but I, th- I think I want this gun. I thought I said the dying light there for a second. I was downing light. Getting very excited. Um, the arcade machines are where you configure your settings and stuff. This is the actual. This is the actual game here. So we'll take this shift card, put it in. So this is this game's like. There's a little bit of job simulator. 
yeah. a slight smidge of it, but it is also a shooting gallery game. Um, so this is just a test range like, where you can kind of test out the weapons. Blam. Janitor to the shop floor. That's, huh, okay. You actually broke a chair. <laughs> That's neat. Man, this seems incredibly well chair. made. Yeah, uh, I think every, everything looks nice. Everything yeah. seems the right size, and you can actually, it's kind of a smart thing. You can adjust the height of this viewport. Oh, weird. Like you're basically stretching your neck? Kind of something. I don't know. Huh. I, I tried to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> How's the writing? I. It's okay. Yeah. All right. So that's enough testing. Let's uh, let's do the thing here. So the idea is that you will okay scan thirty groceries, six thousand juice, kill three apples while power up is active. Those are our three challenges. Hmm. Um, you will kind of move up a tech tree of unlocked guns here based on how many groceries you scan. Um, and so it's it's kind of a pat your head, rub your belly thing of okay. scanning groceries while dealing with incoming enemies. Like repetitive action plus yes. like precise action. Exactly. Huh. So scan, you know, like scan groceries, place on the chute, place unlocked power-ups in the slot, and then we have our challenges. and put them in the shoot. Shoot any fruity fanatics that try and stop you. You see, in 17 items, we'll unlock the, the second weapon here. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Oof. The mean looking fruit. Get ready for a big invasion. Do you have to reload or do you just throw the gun away? The gun, yeah, you throw the gun away when it's, when it's empty. Grocers just pile up, they don't disappear. Yeah, that, well, it seems like they'll eventually knock themselves off the counter or okay. something and, and vanish. Or but you can you can catch up if you fall behind? Yeah, it, there's no, like if, if I if I ignore it, then that just means I'm playing the whole level with a pistol. Okay, oh, so you're not you're not getting penalized for... Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Look out for power-ups. Do they all, all the enemies have to go in front of you to get to you? Ooh. Uh, it seems like it. I haven't seen anything. This is only the second level, so it hasn't really gotten too complicated. Is that half of a gun? Uh, yeah, that's gun <laughs> parts. Just. <laughs> uh, you have an apple? Was that uh, an apple? This is ridiculous. Uh, that was a, a, some kind of multi-shot power-up. If you see, I don't know if you can see the pistols shooting more than one shot pull per pull. All right, so we have shotguns now. Are those power-ups or no? Those just signs. Actually, you're not supposed to shoot them. Is what it sounds like. Shit. No, it, it's it's you know just a little bit of breakage. I really like the pink shotguns. Do you get uh, penalized or actually? Uh, oh jeez! Oh no no no! Do you, <laughs> you get like, penalized for store damage? I don't think so. That's, that's, oh jeez! Oh wow! That's huh? Is that a no? Can you shoot it? Oh. Seems like it gets hectic. Nice work. All challenges complete on this job. Please try not to damage the store. It may look cheap, but it's more than you can afford. You got one. Do you have a, a score display on your view? No. Uh, oh, okay. I have this window down here that'll tell me how how much time is left in the level okay. or you know, when the next power-up is coming. Oh. Ah! Oh, ah. boy. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Employee of the month. <laughs> What is that big uh, readout show? 
Uh, so this just shows uh, what we've unlocked, and that's your you know, we can, your we can score get a, a thing of like, yeah, okay, we made it to three minutes, took zero damage, completed all the challenges. What's on the back? There's something on the back. Uh, oh, never mind. Well, never I, I think out. on the back is just the challenges. Okay. What happens if you try to walk around in here? Uh, I mean, you kind of just eventually just walk into the just world, go right through. <sighs> yeah. Like I don't know if I could. There's no. Oh, you might be able to get. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna get out of sensor range here in a sec. I forget. Does Oculus have anything like the the Vive? It does. Virtual. Yeah. So I'm seeing a, a grid. Uh, the Guardian system show okay. up here. Uh, I think if I get up against it and look down, you might be able to see it on the floor. Do you mm. see that? Uh, vaguely. A, little, a wavy, uh, a wavy a little, line. Yeah, I see a, a very f faint line. Yeah. Um, Try your new gun. You unlocked one automatically and you can pay for another one? Is that what you... I think the unlocks are still you paying for Okay. It looks like I can't even finish these guys off. Alright. You're shooting your own... They really seem to harp on the not damaging the store thing, but yeah. they don't seem to do anything about it. So yeah. It didn't look like anything was on your score sheet about right. blowing, blowing stuff up, seems which like they, kind they of just, would be not very fun to have to worry right. about the store. It seems like maybe they just wrote some dialogue about, like, hey, don't shoot shit up. Newfangled machine guns. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Those are pretty weak bowls, indeed. There you go. Clean up after yeah, yourself. Yeah, just like all the physics on that stuff look really good. Yeah, this good. actually w works. <clears throat> yeah, this is well made. This the way, stuff, the, way, the way everything like breaks like exactly where you touch it. Like there's a one to one with that stuff. Uh, let's go over to our vending machine and see what we got. How much do you have now? Twenty thousand nine hundred. Uh, so I've got enough for this forty-four. I've got enough for our machine gun. Get the machine gun and the grenades. Yeah, I would you can get, get both. Gun. Okay, yeah. So that's nine one four. You bought a new weapon. Try it out in the locker. Then one twenty eight. Show the fruit that they're messing with the wrong minimum wage warrior. You bought a new weapon. What does the uh, question mark button do on the? Uh I had prints out another set of instructions. Oh, okay. Can you earn multiple juice for doing the same level over and over again? Uh, it, well, it's, yeah. I, well, I guess I don't know. I would assume so, but it seems like the unlocks are all governed by number of stars. Uh, okay. So if you're getting three stars per level, you're going to unlock stuff a little bit sooner. Even these power-ups over here, uh, eight stars, 12 stars, all that sort of stuff, so... The locker is where you pick your work shift and test fire weapons for the day ahead. You can even come here to squeeze off a few... Friends. Oh, so I can choose what order oh, they're neat. in, even, which is a neat idea. Hmm. Loadout changed. Here at the that seems fun. Yeah. A small clip, though. <laughs> and I think a grenade is going by. Oh, did throw a grenade in the middle of the chairs. I thought I saw one. There you go. Wow. Get rid of it. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Presented by John. Oh boy. You can use your mouth too, apparently, to uh, pop. Really? Okay. That's, that's what good. it said, I think, on the loading screen. That's pretty good. Will it blow up in your hand if yeah. you. No. No, because the, the pin, the, you pull the pin, but the clip doesn't come ah. off it until you let go. So it doesn't look like you can actually, like, cook it. Rambo would be proud right now. Okay, that's a good. Seems like a decent range. Right, let's try what. Oh, hey, let's. Oh. Huh. Oh, there's a game here. Hmm. Oh, I think your score is going down when you miss. 
Is it? Yeah, it was going way down when he was praying and spraying. Oh, spraying. It was up to like a few thousand and then it kind of started going down. So I think you do get penalized for misses. Hmm. Try missing a bunch though, we'll see. Ooh. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. Maybe I am. Huh, that was really weird. Try a machine gun again and just shoot up. Oh, like start the game over and... No, 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 I, I just saw your, your score go way down. I'm not really sure what was causing it though. <laughs> Pretty good. Maybe could use a few more lines of dialogue. Yeah, see, it went down to zero. Well, no, it, it, it's the over. game ended. Okay, the game just started. So it's resetting. Oh, okay. I don't think it's straight down. There's something weird there. <laughs> oh, maybe I. Okay, I just saw it re resetting from the. Yeah. Uh, it, it just keeps on going. It really stops. Yeah, so time ended, and so if it, when we started again, it would. And I think the grenade went off and started it again. Yeah. So I don't know why you wouldn't just use two machine guns and go fucking apeshit here. Well, they run out of ammo, so you kind of have sure. to. All right. Oh, didn't realize I was standing so far forward. Let's try one more level of this and move on. Let's do it. 1,000 juice in six seconds. Uh, six apples with revolvers. Well, we're not getting an axe. Oh, what we happens if you grab the revolver? Fruit. Oh, I don't know. It, it's it, never gotten close enough. Yeah, it said, it said if it gets too close, grab it. Oh. Welcome to the store. At Super Mega Mart, you get your groceries with the grin. It's a little bit of night shopping. Yeah. scan all goods and remember to shoot fruit on sight. Why is the fruit bad, though? Like, does it not like being sold? I mean, look at it, man. It's... I get that it's evil. It's I'm just curious. Mean, it's got a mean face. Closed it. Is that Brie? I like Brie. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not a mean fruit. The fruit is Dies anyway. The fruit seemed pretty happy. Well, now it's dead. Poor orange. What's the most evil kind of fruit? It's a pineapples, probably. What? I mean, in terms of like the way they look and the way they feel. Yeah, I guess. Pineapples so tasty, though. They are very tasty. I'm just saying. Just look at them. They're they're meant to be resisted. Mm. We resist our effort to eat them. Any damage must be paid for. Like I want to eat a pineapple, but it won't let me. Maybe it's just an object lesson about having to work for the good things in life. Still, I don't like that either. I wonder if they handed me on a silver button. Why? What do you think? Evil no. Thing? Oh, I don't know. Uh, huh. I don't love citrus. Oh no, elevator coming in. Not a huge fan of orange. I like I, I like all, I like many, all fruits. Too many seeds. My favorite fruit is steak. I don't like peeling it. Yeah, I can get behind that. We bought uh, fish last night at the restaurant, at the grocery store, and it was like, Salmon steaks. It's like okay. steak sized yeah. fish, but they're using the word steak, which I have always associated with cow. Uh, I, think it, I think it's how they cut it, right? Uh, yeah, like, that's what I assume, but. Filet is long ways and steak is like. I don't know. Can you have a, can you have like a burger steak? Can I you make guess? a burger into a steak know. form? What do you make a steak, steak burger? Steak burger. Whoa. I've always thought steak was a cow. And I was very surprised to see no, them I using think fish. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's, it's like a yeah, it's a style of. I've meat. definitely had like a, I've had a tuna steak before. Mm. You missed. You got one. So if you had a big enough fruit and you cut it into a steak shape, could you have a fruit steak? I'm not so sure about that. I mean, isn't there like vegan steaks that are? What can be a steak and what can't be is what I'm really curious. Is it just a shape or does it have to be some kind of animal? Language is elastic. You can. I'm a descriptivist, you can, man. You can do I, I'm actually a prescriptivist. Anything you want could be a steak. Uh, I, so I don't, this is weird. I don't know if you see this, but like the machine gun has built in recoil. Oh, really? Which, uh, you know, my hand's not moving. There's yeah. not real recoil. But as you 
hold down the trigger, the the barrel climbs even without oh, you, that, which is which is that really seems weird. Does, it, does that feel like, yeah? Does it feel like a disconnect? Yeah, like it feels your, feels wrong. Like your brain doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like an old like virtual cop, I, I think, right? When wouldn't, wouldn't that be somewhat similar? Let let one of these guys get close and see if you can grab it. I'm okay. actually curious about this too. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh. oh, is that it? Just throw it. Got six seconds left. Oh, oh God. Well, that was a boom. Oh, the grenade got him. Oh, you only have five hits before you uh, you die. Yeah. That looks like. And we are now closed. That was not so I got no stars. Huh. Any self-caused damage to your workstation must be paid for. That's shooty for you. Let's move on. That's yeah, that's cool. It seems like it might run out of steam. Yeah. But but it's got nice production values. I was just baffled by steak. For sure. I didn't yeah. I didn't walk in here expecting to have an exit steak crisis. A steak crisis. Steak, <laughs> steak crisis. I want to go to we I want to get a steak sometime soon. Yep. We were we were talking about going to get uh Ruth's Chris before the holidays. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. I haven't been there in a long time. Ooh. What's your favorite steak? Beef. A beef steak. Well, I mean like there's a lot of beef. I like a New York strip steak. New York strip. I can't keep a lot of them straight. I know. That one's I not just a kind bone. of like that's not, that's not no, there's no bone either. in that. Okay. Porterhouse for two for one. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> 48 <laughs> ounces. <laughs> I, uh, Don't tempt me. I had a porterhouse on New Year's. Did you? Yeah. Whereabouts? Uh, There's a steak place up near me. The, that I went steak to. places are wildly variable. Yeah. I think it was good. Yeah. You gotta you gotta pay a little bit for it. You know, if you're going to like so. Applebee's or, just, or something. I feel like it's kind of like pizza, right? To me, I don't know. Even even a, well, I was gonna say even a bad steak place would be good, but maybe not. What's well, the old saying? Like, there's like bad pieces, like bad sex is still pretty good. That's not yes. true at all. I guess that's. I true, there's, yeah. I've had plenty you of. Could, both. You could definitely mess up a steak. <laughs> <laughs> this is Luna. Okay. Luna. Uh, from, this name sounds familiar. This is from Phenomena. Oh, what? Have they put anything else out? Making, no. Uh, has this put anything first, out? I don't think so. Is this their first thing? Uh, Wadham is right. Yeah. Wadham. I knew I'd heard the name, but I was trying to think if they yeah. had put anything out or Long not. Long in development game from the creator of Katamari. Katamari, yeah. Tomashi. This is from him? No, no, no. No, this is not oh. from, from he's him. Ma he's making from the a game studio. with them. This looks neat. But this is not that good. Yeah, game. so this is, you know, after all that shooting, something kind of nice and relaxing. Yeah. This is Godus, right? <laughs> I do like a god game in VR. Like yeah, well, this is this is a little more kind of visual storytelling yeah, I, yeah, than I didn't, I didn't than think this was that, but than game. Um, is this set in San Francisco, but I, but I think more people should make god games for VR. What was the last really good god game, like in general, even on on any platform? I played some of that game Tethered, Tethered in VR last year, or was it last year? Or year before? Now we're inside That's the dome. Cool. We're like a ninja huh. we penetrated the dome. Our little sleeping bird friend here. God damn it, I was... He's not interested. Ah! Whoa! It's a very stern looking owl. I trying to say that movie, uh, Quijibo and the Two Strings. What was it? Cujo and the Two Strings? <laughs> what was the name of the guy? I forget. It was something really weird. <laughs> Wake up, this owl is staring at you. Don't remember. It was something like that. I had a really distinctive art style. It was all uh, uh, stop motion animation. Yeah. Um. Are you meant to be interacting, or is this little bits and pieces, or is it playing out? Uh oh. I, I think this specific sequence <clears throat> is playing out. That black hole is getting awfully close. It's not a moon. Could be. Looks like the moon. Yeah, that bird ate that stuff. Hmm. I bet this looks cool in VR. Yeah. In 3D. It, it's got like a very deliberate kind of motion, like almost like a stop motion yeah. thing to yeah, it. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. That owl looks cool. Is that a giant onion? Yeah. Purple onion. Mr. Purple Onion. 
Wait, what? For Plenty? The what comedy it? club up oh. on Columbus? I yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. Is it still there? No, it shut down a while back. Okay. It, it's now the Hustler Club, alternate entrance. Oh, right, of ah. course. Yeah. Okay. So we can kind of pet our little bird here and... Oh, I see a puzzle coming on. Is it a puzzle where you have to align them, or are you just making music at this point? Oh, it's, it's, it's a lot of it is just kind of like do the interactions and it'll move forward, and then we get these kind of baseline basic. Bayek, what do the stars mean? You guys play enough Assassin's Creed? Yeah. Reference? Well, not. No, I, mean, I knew what you were talking about. Yeah, yeah, enough to get that reference, but not okay. enough Assassin's that Creed. That I the whole kid plot in Assassin's Creed was. Ha! Got to make sure you got it. I'm picking it up, which you're putting mouth. So now we have this. Awesome. I need to play that game. It's great. My number three game of the year. Hey, little bird buddy. Shoo. All right. This is neat. Yeah. I mean, I can tell now that it looks like it's actually in 3D. Uh, yeah. But before, yeah. it was very difficult to see. It's it looks like a 2D, 2D flame. All right, now we got that thing. Do you know if this is an exclusive? I th No, this is on Steam. Oh, it is, um, okay. I was gonna say, this seemed like the type of thing you might fund as a platform holder, but. I'm pretty sure this is on Steam. Uh, I also, I'm not sure if it's out yet, but I th there is, I th believe, a non-VR version of this as well. Oh, okay. Oh. Doesn't seem like it would be nearly as cool. Yeah. Oh, that looks complicated. All right, now we're just screwed. <clears throat> There's no kind of reference for what goes where, is there? No, but you're kind of making. Yeah, I mean, you can. Kind it of seems to be a logical shape, so you wouldn't. What should be a shape? Like yeah. if this one was over here, it would fold in on right. itself in a, right. in a way that wouldn't make sense. Sonic so. the Hedgehog. You made Bart. Yep, there oh, it is. That's a Bart. This bird is pretty cool. The bird seems extremely chill. All right. Mm. I could use just like, the slightest bit of backstory as to why you're doing this. Like, are you trying to rescue this bird's kingdom? Mm. Are you yourself a bird god? Just yeah. not knowing anything kind of makes yeah. it a little vague. I, I think it's maybe <clears throat> is deliberately vague, but I couldn't tell you because I I have not finished it. But I need everything explained to me. Yeah, not willing to just go with it. Just just go for the journey, man. Yeah, enjoy the ride. I never did play Journey. What? Never played Journey. Played Journey. Are they making a new game? Or did they already make a new game? Uh, yeah, it's on iOS though. Oh. Who has that? I don't know. So they made Monument Valley two. Yeah, I saw. I've been playing a little bit of that. I saw that came out. Pretty neat. Yeah. Ah. Is it different? Or is it... Oh, you have two characters now, okay. and they can kind of be split up. But you only have, you can only control one. I think it's a row and her daughter. So she follows you, but you have to split them up and do different puzzles that way. I bought the first one and have never played it. Uh, it's pretty good. I got, Should... I got a far enough into it to the point where I'm like, yeah, I, I kind of get it. It'll, it'll bounce you off. Oh, okay. Well, they, points they, they just straight up don't attach it. Yeah. It's the wrong one. Okay. Elephant. Hippo. Turtle. You got it right. Is turtles all the way down? Hey. <laughs> What's popping? <laughs> Woo. I, I like the hands too. When you think about like oh, the yeah. controller being this weird thing that's not quite a hand, yeah. drawing non hands yeah, actually. I, I hadn't even thought about works. that. That's kind of cool. Like this pincher. Creepy flower hands. All right, let's see what the next little thing is here, and then move on. I believe it's a giant turtle, if I remember right. There's our bird buddy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, 
Got this tree with this tree on it. Got a flower with a tree. What? I put this out here. We're gonna, I'm gonna put it wherever I want. I'll put it here. It looks like it has to be mounted somewhere, right? Maybe. Oh. Oh wow. Oh. That's cool. Whoa. Huh. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Okay. Hmm. Let's put that over here. That star icon on the on by the a little bit down and to your left it might be where you have to. Oh, are oh, these where you have to mount something? No, this oh, is where you can rotate it. Okay. okay. Neat. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, and so th this is just our palette, really. Yeah. Kind of. A little grass here, how about? Mm. Bigger Hype grass. A little grass. Mm. Bigger grass. Bigger grass. Okay, that's as big as the grass gets. <laughs> nope. Well, well, that's falling forever <laughs> now, I guess. spacing out right now. Yeah, this is good. This seems quite relaxing. Yeah, this is real good. What do we got in here? You've now? opened a portal. Okay. Let's go to hell. Hmm. Well, or we'll go inside. I think that's what this will do. Oh, wow. Yeah! <laughs> What's up? It was a turtle all along. A colorful turtle. Bird is very into it. So is the turtle. Okay. Suck those moon pieces down, bird buddy. Huh. Yes, yeah, so this is pretty good. Yeah, this seems like a nice, <coughs> a nice little thing. Yeah. Fun for the whole family. Oh, there's this owl. That owl. Fuck you, owl. That owl seems like kind of a buzzkill. I'm betting trouble. the owl wants the moon to stay yeah. moony, mm -hmm. and everybody else wants the sun to come out. It is called Luna. Oh, well, what does that mean? Moon, it's, so there are know. lunatics in this. Yeah, huh? yeah, the same lunatics. Oh, I see. you got to unlock all these things and restore all their power yeah. or something. Okay, so let's move on. That's neat. Yeah, yeah, I like this. I like that, that looks, a lot. That looks good. Okay. For sure. Um, so we'll play a multiplayer game. I might okay. not talk too much during this because it'll have voice chat. But this is Echo Arena, okay. which is the thing. I have definitely heard that name. Yeah. Ready at dawn. Yeah. Oh, it's them. Yep. Uh, so this is they, we're gonna. This was originally gonna be the multiplayer part of. Uh, a game called Lone Echo, and then this took off in a way that they said, fuck that, let's make it separate okay. from that, and then we'll make this free for some chunk of time. I thought it was weird there were two games on the Oculus Store with Echo in the name. Yeah. Uh, Lone Echo was like a, a, a gravityless one or something? So this, this is also gravityless. It's okay. a similar movement and stuff, but uh, but it's this it's more... 
th this is a sport. This is a disc team-based disc game. Let's uh, go through training here, just because I have Module not played it in six months. One, manual dexterity. I wonder if we'll be able to get a game. I think that's the other benefit of them maybe making it available for no money to a lot of people is that I it am Hera, helps it AI for the stay stable. But yeah, we'll see if we get a game. What time is it? Are there like microtransactions or anything? Kind of mid afternoon right now. First, close your hand to form a fist. Now extend your index finger. Okay, can we get a hair more uh, PA out here? Use your index finger to press the hollow button in front of you. Now reach out and grab the glowing disc that just appeared. Hmm. Oh, okay. When Those kinds of discs. Yep, I see. I'm guessing there are also blue ones. Uh, no, it's a single disc goal, like you know, with goals uh, on either end. So okay. it's zero G space disc yeah. golf. But it is very soccer, rather very golf. orange and blue. Is yeah. what I'm seeing. Yeah. You know, Tron shit. Right. I'm thinking about Tron Legacy again lately. I watched a Korean anime. What? Uh, it's a animation. Okay. It keeps spawning me in like the side. Okay. All right. Um, that was that stole a bunch of stuff from Tron. Huh. It's like it's like so it's like anime Sark and all. That. It's fucking nuts. It's mm. nuts. I watched a lot of Korean anime over the break. Don't ask. This labor unit will guide you through the module. Now carefully follow it by pulling yourself through the environment using any solid surface. Yeah. So it's zero G, but you kind of grab onto surfaces and launch off of them. To get think, around. Do you think that would be better or worse for people's nausea who have nausea during this stuff? I don't know. It, it works okay for me, but mm. the thing about walking is that you you when you have the hands and you're moving those like some of those games where you walk with your hands kind of helps people too. So yeah, I mean it feels like you know you're if you're in zero G and you don't really have use of your legs. Yeah, I guess I could see that. Then this is something you could do to get around, I suppose. Module complete. Module M205. And then you have thrusters for when you get out in the middle of the arena and, and there's nothing to grab onto. Your hands are equipped with maneuvering thrusters, allowing you to move more freely in zero gravity. Activate left thruster. Activate right thruster. Whoa. Wrist rockets. Yep. That's cool. Now please exit the activation pod and use your maneuvering thrusters to reach the door ahead. Thrusters can be used in short bursts or held down for continuous usage. Please press the hollow button near the door to proceed. Good. Now navigate the environment using only your maneuvering thrusters. Do not grab any surfaces during this test. Thruster calibration at 50%. Ow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I can't even hit anything? Reboot mm. initiated. That would have been nice to know. Oh, God. What? <laughs> There's my body. It blew up. <laughs> Try again. Yeah, so I have limited use, and then it'll have to recharge. a little bit of prey where you're mm. going well mm, yeah. oh yeah theoretically if you held down a button you just keep on gaining acceleration or uh, momentum right. no matter what you'd never Calibration. maintain the not same if, speed not if there's air uh the, the, then you've got boosters. air friction you got drag, so. you got oh, drag right. okay so those are the maneuvering thrusters but you also have a, a booster for real speed i think that makes sense like i said it's been a while your EVA pack allows you to boost forward in the direction you are looking. When you are ready, please exit the activation pod and use your EVA boost to reach the console ahead. Well done. Please press the hollow button to continue. Now boost to the end of the hall before the walls close in on you. Oh God. Yeah, well. Oh, perfectly straight. 
Really seems, seems maybe a little too restrictive. Oh, jeez. Just <laughs> literally can't touch a wall. Yeah, for the tutorial, like, that's, I, that's, I don't know that's that a, that's, that's... That's a bit much. Without touching the walls, try stringing multiple boosts together if you are having trouble. Multiple boosts? What kind uh, of... Maybe use your wrist and the, uh, whatever that one is, too. Eek! Oh. oh, well done. All right. Excellent. Calibration module complete. Module M116. Breaking thrusters. It's a pretty good movement system. It feels nice. Like the the grabs and stuff. It seems like aiming is a little a little tough, like figuring out where you're gonna go when you without grabbing any surface. That's just something that probably takes time because it really is where you point yeah. your wrist. There are two target zones in the next room. Please boost into one of the zones and use your braking thrusters to come to a full Boy, I wish I knew what the brake button was. <laughs> okay. I don't think you were oh, listening when we, when we were uh, just telling you. Is that it? Please On the other hand? Yeah. Okay. And use your brake to come to a full stop. Success. Now, use your braking thrusters to stop inside target zone B. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Okay. I hear voices. I hear a kid. Welcome to the Echo Arena lobby. Which one is here? You can meet other players. <laughs> Hone your skills. Now we're in VR. Yeah. I don't think school's back in yet. Oh, right. Explore, Is it not? I don't think so. I think sure. it goes back in next uh, next Monday or Tuesday. What? We never got a holiday break. It's in California. Long. Your conduct has a substantial impact on the experience of yourself of. and others. Wait, on your It is imperative to treat other players with respect. <laughs> help maintain a positive Echo Arena community. Please refrain from any conduct <laughs> that could negatively impact other players. Any misconduct could result in severe consequences for you as a player. You are equipped with an arm computer that you can access from either one of your wrists. You can open it by swiping the tab out in the direction of That's your neat. hand. Your arm computer will display a list of players present in your current lobby or match. The next teen you idea lab. Carnage <laughs> <Tarnage> is here? <laughs> now please exit the activation pod and follow me to the center of the lobby, where we will begin our tour of the facility. find it useful to try out our various practice areas before starting your first match. Right, practice is later. critical to any player success yeah. within the arena. $200,000 pri price? Well, that's pretty big for a yeah. VR game. Yeah. I don't have investment in this stuff. <clears throat> I mean, this genuinely is pretty popular, right? Uh, it sounds like it. I feel like I've heard enough people talk about this thing. And we got right into a lobby with humans in it, so that's more than most games. Hi. Yeah, I wonder how Hover Junkers is doing these days. Whoa. Finger guns. <laughs> you just palming that guy's face? Yeah. Hello. Whoa. 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 Mm. Hey, hey. Ah. Be nice over there. Oh, but fine. fine. Dad. <laughs> Does Rift have a mic in it or is that just five? Uh, they both do. They do? All right, so how do we actually play? Can you hey, you. Uh, yeah. You go to one of these matchmaking terminals, oh, go back okay. to this. Oh, <laughs> all right. Thank Thanks. you. Wow. All right, here we go. Finding match. Do you see a little like thing? Yep. Joining yeah, match. That means that you're oh, All right. I'm joining. Bye. See you later. <laughs> I'm shocked at how friendly that was. Only mackerel. Yeah. Wow. 
Way to go. Back in school. So the other the thing they didn't necessarily show you in the tutorial is that you can punch other players. Oh. Uh, you hit them in the head and it stuns them for a few seconds. Unless they took that out, but that seemed like that was the... Maybe it doesn't work in the lobby. Yeah. Are you watching a guide? That's an advanced tactic. Did somebody just say your name? Mm-hmm. Do you have to ready up or anything like that? I don't see a countdown or anything like that. Well, there's slots for four more players. Oh, there is a five on five or three on three. No, there's a slots for it. I don't know if it, I don't know if it'll let you start with fewer, but there you go. I'm gonna say yes. That's kind of neat. You have to like actually get in the hatch and go. Yeah. Needle. Teams have cleared the launchers. No. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, he's gonna make it! Get it. Oh, you punched me in the face, oh. son. Is that revenge? No. Ah, well done. Do you get more points the farther away you are? I'm not sure. Two pointer, it says. So there's oh. some kind of scoring variance. Yeah. What does this remind? What was that 2D game that we that had the scores and you, the farther away you were, you get more points and you could always like smash each other around? 2D game. It I was. Don't? What was that? Idarb? I, that, might, that might be what I'm thinking of. Idarb is one of those. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's the one you're you thinking of. You have to go about. back through the tube? Oh, that's... Oh, uh, that yeah, because you can choose where, which arena you want to... Or which part of the arena you want to launch mm -hmm. into, I think. I better be quick about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Rock em, Dang it! Good idea. Hit your ride. <laughs> Blue catches the enemy. Nice. nice. So if we can. That's it now. <laughs> Is there a way to take possession if they're holding the ball, or do you just have to? I, think, oh, if, I think if you punch them, they'll drop it. He's yeah. got it. Okay. Still a two-pointer. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. It's it's a cool idea. Round starting in 15, 14, 13. But this this getting back to the arena much. thing, it seems. Yeah. This seems annoying. Yeah, I don't know about that. That seems like it kind of disrupts the flow of the match a little too much. I mean, it rewards people who are really good at navigating, for sure. I guess so. <laughs> just, whoa. It's not like these... That was quick. Not like, I, was, I, was oh. just about, I was just about to say it's not like these rounds are that long. I thought that this was the goal here, and Begin that's with. the goal there. So I was like, I'm going to block it. No, I'm not going to block it. <laughs> starting in 15, 14, 13. Yeah, this reset is weird. Yeah, like you barely got in the arena last time yeah. before somebody scored. Seven, six, is it close to you now because yeah, you're so far behind? Because they scored, so. Oh, okay. Wow, that dude, that Jeez, dude is man. really, yeah. Is that the same guy that scored last time? Yep, I yeah. think so. Somebody has played some of this game. That's fun. Some nice skill matchmaking here. Yeah. Hi, hello. Oh no, why would you do that? That's really... <laughs> it's rough stuff. That's not cool, man. Take me somewhere. Massage his inner thigh. Oh, thank you, oh yes. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 
That announcer is really excited. Pass. Nice. Nicely done. Okay. Keep going. All right. Just, just go for it. Like, Boom! Hey, well done, that. Jeff. Well done. Whoa. Yeah, I, yeah. Oh. He's he stole looked, his. He looked like he was gonna punch you. <laughs> yeah. So you can ah. rip. Whoa. You can rip it out of your Come own me, teammates' man. hands. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh man, this is a nightmare. Mm. Oh, yeah. uh. right, let's do that again. <laughs> just like that. Yeah. Okay. Seven, six, five, four. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe play defense this time. Just stand in front of the goal and see if you, see if you can do anything. I mean, it seems like this guy always comes in. Uh, they're they're not coming yet. Mm. Don't let me tell you what to do. Here, yep. I think defense would be pretty tough just because you got such limited mobility. But you're pretty big. If you're not in the right place at the right time. Oh! oh, oh yeah, well right. done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he missed it. Okay. That seems to have worked. Oh, oh no. I got punched. It's rough stuff. No. No. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, all right. I can see the appeal of this. Yeah, it's neat. It seems like there's maybe some skill involved. I mean, I, I'm I'm still not sure how that guy's getting moving so quickly. If it's just like a good wall. So like, okay, if you want to starting in like right the thing, at the beginning. Uh huh. After it's accelerated you the first bit, let you do like a pull off it. So have your arm out straight and grab it, and as it's launching, you then do a pull, and you'll go even faster. Ah, uh, okay. That so makes pull sense. off then launch. All right. Proper science. Oh. It's like Ender's game. Need some ropes or something. Right, um, oh, well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Nice. Right. No. Uh, is it just timed? I guess. Looks like it. I'm coming. Can you actually hear these guys? Because we don't really get much of their voices. Yeah, yeah. I can hear them. Okay. I can hear them just fine. 14. Can you mind taking me down real quick? Ten, nine, eight, Clear. Seven, six, five, no worries. Bonk. Oh, you can go through that. Yeah. Oh, they can't, but you can? I don't know. Oh, you got a big chance here, buddy. Nice. <laughs> Do you have to, like, fist up in order to hit yeah. them? Oh, oh, you're, oh, he's, oh, there you oh, go. oh, go, oh, no, he missed it. How did that miss? Just like grabbing onto his body and slowly oh, climbing you up it. Still got it. Still got a chance here. Bonk! Hit him! You got it! Nice. Let's clear it. Jeez, everybody's just punching each other. Nope. Oh, I think it's gone. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna point at you until you drop it. There's a reason he's never caught. It's a hell of a riff. <laughs> now I understand why I've never picked up the ball. I used the wrong ball. Round Maybe starting in 15, 15 14, 13. Oh, gotta get out there. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, there's a oh, oh, there's a launcher. That's why. That's what he was saying before. Oh, that's cool. It would have been handy to know a while ago. Yeah. What a 
<laughs> nice pass or nice clear. <laughs> that sound in the animation is pretty good. Oh, 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 nope, oh. Oh, he threw it without even looking backwards. Oh. Sometimes the, like, halting momentum can be a little disoriented. Well done. Hey, you scored. Yeah. <laughs> you guys seem to be having fun. Yeah. Uh, this was too much fun. Up the town was no good. That's what I said. Too much fun? That might be wrong for the kids. They do have to go back to school at some point soon. Yeah, that's true. I did not. Oh, you got little uh, individual prizes? Yeah. Yes. I've been waiting to get this title for so long. I did anything. No problem. He. He's very excited. <laughs> First time I've got it. No, I, don't, I can't read what it says. I don't know. I don't know who, I don't know who got MVP. I can't. I don't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> that seems really cool. Oh, man. Yeah, it's neat. Maybe uh, VR's all right. It's uh, like I... I guess I wish it was like slightly faster paced, but maybe yeah. it's just a factor of like getting better at, at maneuvering. I could see that. Um, I could almost see him just like getting you right to that launch pad when you start up, but um, right, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to complain too much about it. Like I said, it's a skill differentiator. If you if you're stuck on that, uh, <laughs> yeah. If you're if you're stuck in that lunch area, tube, yeah. lunch lunch, lunch tube, lunch yes. stuck on lunch tube. Mm. Uh, like good players are going to be able to get out there and launch themselves yeah. really quick. So if you can't if you can't get it out of the tube. All right, I might need to. Oh, I'm not even facing the direction game. I thought I was. Uh, I might need to alt enter this one. Oh no, it looks like it's full screen. This is the one I kind of wanted to see. This is Arctica One, um, which yeah, this is. It's from the Metro. Could you look that up? It's from the Metro devs, right? Metro, uh, like. Metro if it's if Lighten. it's ice themed, oh, it's four A games. Yes, this 4A, is a yeah, four, that is that games. is Metro, yes. right? Or, or the same people? Yes, or the same studio. I don't. Know. Yeah. Um, they're making a new Metro game, right? Yes. They are. It looks quite good. This thing last... I, I played this a little bit before E3, and it seemed like a lot of expensive-looking visuals, but the game itself didn't really do it for me. Um, they're trying to do a little bit more than a shooting gallery, like a little more like movement around a world and some puzzle-solving stuff. And, hmm. uh, but if I remember right, this thing starts with a long ass. Yeah, here we go. Welcome to Vostok. Oh, I want to see if they changed it because it's real silly. Well, Metro Last Light had like a minute of loading yeah. screens before you could even get to the game itself. So it's got this long ass Half Life style intro of of us getting talked to. But also, look at me standing in the passenger area of this truck. <laughs> Where's the chair? And how, like, I am as tall standing as she is sitting in this chair. I'm a little man in your truck! <laughs> Don't play with the radio. Break her one now. We got a tall lady. Thanks. Oh, man. There are good people here. For you, this is a job. For us. Uh, ooh, yeah. Did that turn dark for you? Yeah, it did. Almost like a, hey, don't put your head here, dumbass. There used to be a major city here. Even a university. After the great freeze, though, those who could leave... My name's Classified. Those who couldn't, congregated up to the one. Hello, newbie. Hope you don't end up as the other food. Victoria. You stay home? Suck it. Give me Shimmer Pass card, will you? It's in the glove box. Yeah! With the follow protocol. You're clean. What a surprise. (laughs) 
Oh, it respawned. Yeah, you're back. You're gonna need it in a bit. Most of them are soldiers of fortune, but I said we have good people here, and we do. But some turn deadly. These we exile. We have families, children to protect. Most exiles don't survive, but a few join the bandits. My point is, you can't hesitate, or you'll be dead. Misha mentioned your other concern, Yagas. In the early days, food was scarce. Thousands starved to death. Many survivors were so hungry, they consumed the dead. She's talking about eating people. Yep. Algae in the ice due to a misguided attempt to stop global warming. Something similar to the Yagas from people desperate for food into. Well, you'll see. She's not even going to tell him what she's, yeah. she's up against? Huh? This is too classified. She was ugly and powerful, and known for eating children. No, for eating children or yep. eating? She said eating children, I okay. think, pretty sure. Yeah. They're saying Yaga is like Baba Yaga? Yeah, Baba yeah Yaga. she was talking about Baba Yaga. Yeah. Paying really close attention to the music. There's, there's snow and... Did you put this music on? <laughs> yeah, I'll, nice. I can turn it off. <coughs> that was a good choice. Whoa, robot gorillas? And on the right, that's the transport hub. You can still see some of the old airplanes. Sweet boat back here. Fucking secret boat? There's <laughs> weather out there. It's fucking cold. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. oh, we're getting out now? Oh, I was already out. Go over to the breaker switch. Now pull the lever and let's get the power going. Wait, did that say hit, hit A, B, X, or Y? Yeah. Oh, oh, they're, they're named on the... Yeah, they are named okay. on the controller, yeah. There we go. There are three levels here at the control tower. The garage, the armory, and the control center at the top. Um, hmm. Oh, I think we'll stop at the armory first. That's, uh... Here we are. <clears throat> okay. Little Roomba. The first set of weapons that Citadel has authorized for you to use. You'll get new weapons and upgrades as you fulfill your contracts. These guns load a bit differently from those you're used to. They're equipped with magnetic auto-loading capabilities. To load this one, drop your hands down <coughs> like this. Pick so yeah, I think all the guns have different reload motions, which is kind of a neat. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Remember, just drop your hands down. Drop your hands down. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oof. There's something about the resolution here, or like the color palette, that seems a little bit 
lesser quality than the uh, last game we were playing? I see what you're talking about. I'll show you how to reload the <clears throat> It's like a more effect, more ray? More ray. Oh, it, might, it might just be the way it's outputting. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> Everything just looks kind of low res. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably fine for him. Yeah, it looks it looks okay in here. Uh, so this is a revolver, so you reload it by snapping it out oh, wow. and back. That's cool. Excuse me. I have one more thing for you to do before we send you on your way. But are her lips moving? Vaguely, yes, but not. Okay. Once the weapon has been paired with them, the guns will always be in them. It's very useful. Just raise your arms, bend your elbows, bringing your hands over your shoulders. Then let go. They'll slip right in. You have to pick up the guns and do it. <clears throat> That lets you know you're in the right spot. Mm. I think you're ready for a training simulation now. Pick up the VR headset and put it on. Yeah! <laughs> huh. Good job. Whoa. This is a chance to practice teleportation in your marksmanship. Hmm. A VR mission. Mm. Like in the real world, your system's computer will automatically find the best locations to teleport to. It projects a hologram figure on the available points. The blue point is a good cover. I wonder how many people actually took off their real heads. <laughs> I'll show you to the control room in your computers. Wait, can you throw it? Yes, okay. Wait, what did she tell me? Go to your oh. quarters? Yeah, okay. We're heading to the top of the control tower. We're protected here on this side of the wall. So there are like ice monsters out there. There's a wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Never heard of this before. It's very. Go ahead. Keep going. It's like that Great Wall movie with Matt Damon. Oh right. Okay. Thought it sounded familiar. Me, I work over there, and I never sleep. She never sleeps. Yeah. If you know what I mean. You and I will be in constant communication. Is she a robot? Connected here, on the desk. I don't know. Dead eyed like a robot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she's a robot. Definitely a robot. Robot confirmed. <laughs> 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 
might be living down there. Let me... But be careful not to trespass with the sentry mm. robot. It's gone rogue. I'm not sure what it will do if it sees you. <clears throat> that sounds unsafe. That's fine. What could go wrong? Start up your nav and get ready. For what? For all audio to stop? Okay, there we go. I'll be at my station here, keeping this place from falling apart. So can you not teleport around at will? No. Like only where you, it, you teleport to cover points and shoot. Uh, so only where it wants you yeah. to. Ooh, Metro. Can I just... Yeah, that... Why would they put that don't there? Put you this can't mess here with it. I can't... <laughs> that's just a... Well, that's just a tease. Eliminate all enemies, disable the robot, protect the generator. <clears throat> Director 4 is secret. It's a helpful screen up there. Oh, mission one selected. Bye, robot lady. It's the machine that goes ping. Is this set in the same universe as Metro? I don't know. Because I know the Metro, the overworld so. was all cool. Yeah, I don't I don't think, was it? I believe it was. Mm. It was at least poisonous of some sort, right? Yeah, I, this doesn't, I mean, I haven't played a ton of Metro, but this doesn't quite seem like the same We're thing. We're going to the Metro, so. It's true. Yeah. What could it mean? I'm just going to find a PC that has Metro installed on it and just play it. I mean, you haven't traded any bullets for anything yet, so. Yeah. Just destroy it. Be on the lookout for bandits or other unwelcome visitors, too. It's definitely a Moscow garage there. All right, get moving. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Buddy, you okay in there? <laughs> Wake up. You're out of gas. Ooh, okay. okay. Whoa. That was neat. You got something in there. Open hood. Oh, man. This is kind of cool. Yeah, it's neat. More interactive than I thought it would, be, it would be. You had a record finally. There you go. Now you can use it. Move record to your holster. Oh, wow. Deep ocean. All right. That's cool. That's, huh. All right. Oh, this is the revolver, huh? Nice. This guy seemed mad. <laughs> That didn't work out. All right. That took more bullets than I would have thought. How does that shooting feel? Do you feel like you're actually hitting when you think you're on? Point? Yeah, I mean, the, the sights work. Um, Ooh. 
Ух. Nope. <laughs> Over here, buddy. Is there is there a health system? Yeah. Oh, geez. There's a meter here. Oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. A bad place to be. I'm so get you. Ah, just you wait. That seems dope. Seems pretty cool. So it, it's that type of action mixed with like, hey, teleport around and pull some code pull. this ID card by going to this machine to do yeah. this and this pull. machine to do this. Pull some levers, hit some buttons. Yeah. How long is each mission? I don't know. Stop watching me cough. Whoa. Hang on, let me reload. <laughs> <laughs> that looks fun. I wish the hit reactions were a little more realistic. Yeah. Some of them, they look a little bit artificial. You take me down for a second, Jan. I'm gonna get a cough drop real quick. You clear? Thank you very much. Shit. Ooh. Oh, I'm almost dead, I guess, huh? The teleporting is actually really disorienting because there's no like teleport effect you just appear in the new location oh, and oh yeah a lot yeah, of games yeah. don't do it that way <clears throat> and so just popping around like this is is weird where what Oh, you. I'd like to try to at least get to a part where... Oh, that's cool. You see my breath when I talk, like the microphone. Huh. That's huh. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, I just want. Okay. 
Do I have a wrist mount? written next to it? Oh, yeah. Nope, that's, that's not... Yeah, I'll be careful. He didn't, he, he didn't move very fast. I told you they were pretty awful. I'm picking up lots of activity on the ship. Probably more data. There's a good chance you'll find a robot in the area, too. Okay. Maybe we'll look at one more game after this. What's that? We'll look at one more game after this. Cool. Uh, that was a Yaga. Oh, you can't talk yet. Oh, hi. It looks like Venom. That's what it is. A little bit. Go to your wrist, didn't I think it looked like you had a secondary objective? Yeah, for like involving that robot? Yeah, I, th I think it's. Uh, disable the robot so, yeah. as opposed to. I think it's the robot. Stay sharp. It's the robot! Ooh. Whoa. Huh. Ooh. I'm charge. Yeah, that's really disorienting. Yeah. Give me that. <laughs> what? Oh. 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 Idiots. I can't believe you eat those things. Well, for us, you won't be so not being here long. Hmm. Jesus. Ah, okay. Huh. 
I kind of I thought that my, those might be story characters. Yeah, for, for a, second. a second there, I was like, are these good guys? No. <laughs> That's not where I wanted to teleport. Okay, well, anyway. That's Arctica 1. Yeah, that, that snapping from point to point thing seemed kind of disorienting. Yeah, that could be better, for sure. I don't know, it seemed like it was a good way to, like, get people into weird places they can't have themselves and then... Oh, I, I just, I, it just needs, like, some kind of effect, like... Ah, uh, okay. Like, to communicate where you're going. A little more clearly. Sometimes it doesn't like to launch. All right, there we go. They're doing better about games just outputting to a screen. Uh, yeah, I think like, this actually is the one that I need to ah, hang on. Okay. Of the games we pulled. Do you want us Ooh, to hit it? I think I can get it. Whoa. Wait, whoa. Ah, there we there go. It is. Well done. Still? Okay. Uh, this is a mech game. Ooh. So, might like, not show it, but it, it's it's also a shooting gallery game. But let me, before you. Okay. Like, I saw footage of this and was like, oh, fuck yeah. And then started playing and it was like, oh, I'm not really moving much. It's got some nice, de um, nice design. Yeah. This looks good. Did you buy a VR headset? When it gets cheap enough, sure. Yeah. And I need to, I don't have a huge amount of room to, to use it, but I'd just be paranoid about breaking something. Yeah. Yeah, that's been kind of the or bummer. On a dog. Uh, is you know <laughs> some of these games that require just a little bit more space than I have. Yeah. And so then it becomes scary of like, am I going to punch out my TV or the window that's behind me or, or anything like that? So. Well, like, like I was saying, we had an earthquake this morning and I, we had a, a picture frame break over and all I can think about was like, is my monitor okay? Is my, go is my goddamn <laughs> monitor okay? Or my should, TV? You should earthquake proof that I thing. I know I should. Mount the monitor. I've got, I've got bookcases behind it too, which could always flip maybe, over. Maybe you should insure that thing while so, you're at it. Oh, winter's insurance does not cover earthquakes. Really? It does not. You have to pay separate for earthquake insurance in California. Uh, um, and it's a fair amount to, uh, if there's ever a huge risk, we're all, we're all just basically go directly to bankruptcy. Do not pass go. Speak for yourself. <laughs> you rent, that's true. So, it won't be that bad. <laughs> Brad's the guy causing the earthquakes, right? <laughs> it's money to be made. This is Auntie Sam on Radio Free America, broadcasting to all those soldiers of the United States Free Forces still fighting for us. So the United States has been invaded, I take it? Yeah, sure. I got it. I got it. Okay. Damn it, why are you crashing? Language. I'm sorry, Mom. I really want to show you this. Let me reboot. Something about characters that you are portraying in first person that speak in VR is not Mom. quite right. Which is weird, because plenty of first person games have dialogue. Yeah. But something about it in VR just seems weird. Like, the voice doesn't feel like it's... Coming from Coming the out right of you. spot, or yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's when they start making VR gloves, I'd really like to see what, if they, anybody can do a, like a uh, sign language do you yeah. think a, instruction like, program. Do you, think a, do you think a Gordon Freeman like silent protagonist thing would work though? I have mean, people, it, have people it, talking to you as if you were responding, but but you're not. Right, that ends up being at probably as disorienting in some ways. I never need space unless they leave gaps for you to say uh huh. <laughs> like, whether three. the game does anything or not, you know, at least. You can pretend to have a conversation. Look! Avery sees! I think those are Aunt Alana's. I got it! It's it's stable! <laughs> oh, easy, kid. Don't let her. Man. It's a game. The switch got weird. For, for me? Yeah. You know, get you ready for battle? So, what you, you know, to put on your VR headset. Before they bomb your base. You ready? <sighs> Ready? I'm gonna eat your bombers for lunch. I don't know, Nubstar. I'm thinking maybe you've lost a step. This is really impressive, Pat. This? This is totally basic. So far. How what long did this do take I you? Play? About four days. You spent oh. four days making this. For me? Yeah. You spent every day trying to protect us all. 
Four days is nothing. <laughs> Just wait till the next one. It's gonna be way better. Promise. Sometimes you remind me. What has Skydance Interactive done before? This I want to say might well. Uh, so they did Pwned. Uh huh. Which uh, was in early access on Steam. This test. I believe that was them, right? Yeah. It's safe. But the name sounds familiar. Yeah, I could find out. Thomas. I believe Skydance is one of the. Hey, what do I always say? It's ex Treyarch, like ex one of the founders of Treyarch. Seriously, what do I say? Started another uh, Your company. Your is the safest place on earth. Believe that. Nothing's gonna happen to me, and I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. This seems like the, a, a place where real hands could be a little more immersive. Yeah. Home. Prepare for identity confirmation. Whoa! What is this? The Resident Evil thing is chopped in little yeah. cubes. And let it read you back. Captain Gabrielle Walker, confirmed. Verified. Welcome to Hangar One, Captain Walker, and welcome VIP Patrick Walker. No way. 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 No. Still saying that in the future, huh? Still doing the no way way. Maybe it came back. Still. I'm, I'm, I'm all right with that. That's pretty cool. It's a good design. It's a giant. Things big. Did you see? Uh, oh my god. What is? I can never remember the name of the actor who played Bill. Alex. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Um, Alex Murphy. Yes, no, wait, that's him. Murphy. Wait, Bill and Bill and Ted. Yes. Alex something. Yeah. Did you see him tweeting about Station? No. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Right. <laughs> I get into it right now. Sweet. Well, those many mil military bases where kids are totally welcome. I mean, you need every fighter you can get. Some desperate Me and my time. ghost hand, I'll see you later. Good luck, Johnny. I'm ready to fight. Not happening. I'm All right, you. rip that kid's brain out and put it into the mech. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting here, just... <laughs> uh, hmm. Whenever you're ready. See if I can get closer to the center of our space here and recalibrate mid-game. Does that work? It does. City of Sanctuary. Sanctuary is a myth. Not a myth. It's the last free city left. Already hearing this? Sanctuary is not a myth. It's not exactly a city either. What did I tell you? Why humanity? It's not a mech or a mecha. Probably lift activated. It's got kind of a mecha vibe. Too. Yeah, it was kind of it's sort of halfway. But I don't know. It looks like a giant master chief. Hmm. Ready to do this, Guardian? Alana, when it's just you and me, you can call me Gabby. Get your head in the game. General Collins is going to be evaluating our unit. Paladin herself. Speaking of our unit, where are Tweedledee and Tweedledum? That's just hurtful, Guardian. He just figured out which one's Tweedledum. Knock it off. Are we go for systems test? Tracking down some kind of interference, but it's not enough to compromise the test. We're Yet. Then let's light this candle. I'm a headmaster. Nav and comms. Online. Cooling and fuel systems. Nominal. Shields and reps. Locked and loaded. Reading all systems go. Confirmed. We are a go. Good luck, Guardian. And shoot straight. This is quite an intro. Yeah. Seems like ideally you would play this game sitting down. Pat? Sean showed me how to use the loudspeaker. You're gonna crush this test. Great. Sit back and enjoy the show. Final cross check? Why bother? Evidently, you're gonna crush this test. Bulldog. This interference is really bothering me. Sending a cam drone to find out what's causing it. Paladin's transmitting. Look sharp. Good afternoon, Project Deliverance. I don't think I need to tell you how long we've been working towards this day. For years now, the United States Free Forces have been on the run. We've been outnumbered and outteched. Today, thanks to the sacrifice of technicians, engineers, soldiers, and scientists, we make our move. We will seize the advantage. Today, we take our first step to get back in this fight. Hope to give you a good show today, Paladin. Everyone here at Deep Mountain is counting on it. We've got an army of engineers hoping to mass-produce that prototype if you succeed. Ready to establish Neuralink. 
Activate M1KL interface. Hello, Captain. I'm eager to find out what we can do together. Like the attitude. Initiating boot sequence. Neuralink verified. Host synapse parity, 5 sigma. 5 sigma verified. Sync processor speed to EEG biorhythm. Synced. All processes not. I'll just hang out then. Neuralink in 3, 2, 1, activate. Is that... Am I seeing myself? Yes, Captain. Is the neural link stable? Scanning. I'm sensing... Not a thought exactly. An acceleration of heart rate that matches... I'm a little uneasy, M1KL. I'm having an actual out-of-body experience. Uneasy? Yes, I feel uneasy. Very exciting. I can already experience your <clears throat> biorhythms and emotions. You think that robot is gonna ask her to refer to it as Michael by the end of the game? Yeah, probably. And memories. <sighs> the pattern of your brainwave is shifting. Not exactly thrilled with sharing memories. It's a long ass intro, holy mackerel. Yeah. Let's try and keep some professional distance, okay? And let's not keep Paladin waiting. Of course, Captain. But do know that time in this neural construct is not the same as time in the real world. Back there, not even a second has passed. Good to know. Maybe I'll come back here for a long one minute vacation sometime. Transition us back. Ugh. Neural link established and stable. AI and pilot are one. Beginning servo synchronization test. Please raise your right and left hands, Captain. Excellent. Servos calibrated and functioning at 100%. Now. Make a fist. Excellent. Dexterity and response time are optimal. Now I will begin generating phantom targets in your heads-up display using our neural link. You will be able to see and interact with these targets, even though they do not exist in reality. Captain, please make a fist and punch the targets in front of you. Next, we will proceed with a weapons check. Look at the mech's right arm, Captain. I am activating the Thrasher AMG machine gun. Yo, it got bigger. In your heads up display, or HUD, I've activated a reticle. Your shots will go where you aim the reticle. Generating AR time. The ring around the reticle indicates the ammunition left in the machine gun's magazine. I am able to generate nearly infinite ammunition at a taste time. Do too much, and you will have to wait to reload. Try shooting these next targets. Crasher machine gun test complete. Now look on the next left arm. It's weird how we spent decades of, uh... The slam shot is a powerful weapon. Progress and all this other stuff and this technology to just kind of make light gun games again. Yeah. Okay, Guardian, yeah. Like it's cool. All I want is virtual cops. Yeah. Can you see my ID in your HUD? Roger that, Liberty. Uh -huh. M1's got you tagged correctly. Okay, let's check hull status. Activated. The indicator in the HUD tells you the relative damage the mech hull has. Yeah, but now the light gun games look super cool. Yeah. They do. They're all 3D and they're all around you. Yeah. Hull integrity indicators online. Why isn't it at 100%? Do you ever have a chance to play any Fallout 4? Or has it continued to not work? It just crashes every time I've tried to launch it. Mm. Well, at home, it gets to the character creator and immediately locks up. Here, it was just immediately, the app was just hard crashing every time you hit, you click launch. Just reach out and catch them. Because that seems like the kind of the one big, gigantic, sprawling real game for VR so far, right? Nice catch, Guardian. Yeah. Squeeze them and watch. Well, Skyrim. Well, that too. I've heard really good things about that Skyrim game. It's yeah, we should check that out. EM shields. Both arms are equipped with powerful electromagnetic generators. Got some. Yeah, we've got some stuff piled up on PSVR that we should take a look at too. Yeah. Activate your shields to test them. As you can see, shields need to be held to remain active, but they can only be held for a short time before they break down. Notice that the longer you hold the shield, it will change colors, indicating that time is running out. A similar indicator of remaining shield time is available in the HUD. Shields do recharge over time. In this simulation, try and defend against the targets that are firing on you, and return fire to destroy them. Okay. Test concluded. Lo 
locking arm control. Entering safety mode. This is a lot. Yeah. That was amazing. You crushed it. Congratulations, Guardian. Been a lot of crushing today. Yeah. Project deliverance. Said you were gonna crush it. To you. The USFF stands a fighting chance. In what coming... happened? We lost Paladin. We established comms. I can't. Uh oh. Oh, no. Some kind of interference. Are you gonna have to hit the ground running now? Yeah. But this is just a prototype. My God, that's not ours. What the hell is that? Lock the base down. Guardian, Tyler. Up. Get rid of it. Patrick. Kid's a cinder now. Oh, how did? Come on. Everybody else died. Yeah. That guy's on fire. Shh. No. Nope. We're under attack. He back. He back. Emergency override. Taking arm control. Supporting the platform. Patrick, get out of there! Reports coming in. Hundreds of Humanix air units swarming oh, on him. Oh, well. Oof. Hmm. Patrick, no. Captain, there are zero light signs beneath the rubble. I'm not leaving without my boy! Apologies, Captain. I am activating emergency evacuation protocol. No! 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 <laughs> <sighs> I should feel something. This is liberty. I'm going evasive. And yet, need backup. I'm need cold. Backup. Get us back in the hangar now. Hangar one is destroyed. All right. Let's see what this game actually is. Yeah. As we ejected. No. Second platoon is destroyed. Have you gone through all this before? Uh, not that stuff. I started here uh, when they did their demos. Okay. Or, or I started at the start of some action. Well, that's a big ass shit. That was our civilian trip. Took me a while to figure out what was going on with the hands and the floating guns or floating whatever. Yeah. Control apparatus. Damage during the ejection. The thing that's closer to the camera is your hand. Yeah. But this the is my but, hand. But the hand is not your hand. It's the robot. It's hand. the robot's hand. It's yeah. It's kind of kind of slightly disorienting. Shields up. Remember, your shields will only protect the area they cover, and their duration is short. Ambush! Ambush! They're everywhere! Guardian! Guardian! Get me to my platoon! I'm doing my best, Captain. Your best? Are you moving yourself? Nope. Okay. Uh... Better than your best. You will get me my gun so I can pay them back in full. Do I make myself clear? You do, Captain. Pressure AMG machine gun operation on your right arm. About damn time! Tanks. Ten o'clock. Left shield, Captain. Humanix units. Two o'clock. Units destroyed. Get me to my platoon now. Yes. Yeah. Give me my guns now. Why are you even put a human in there if, if they're not going to be able to control it? Work faster. It's a prototype, you know? Get away. I don't think they're trying to get away, to be honest with you. Yeah. More ground troops, Captain, on your right. Got him! Got him! Captain, detecting. It feels very sterile, like the environment, you know? It just doesn't feel like I have. Like there's much I can do. Beyond shoot the targets, you know. Oh, that's a good guy. Right. Like that van, for example. Nothing. Yeah. Where's my goddamn oh. rockets? Humanix units, ten o'clock. Come closer. I got something for you. Guardian. Thank God you're alive. Guardian. Guardian. We'll say that. Yeah. <laughs> shoot, dog, shoot the goddamn enemy and shut up. Roger that, Guardian. Rambler! We got separated. I want weapons hot. We shoot everything that comes close until we reach Rambler. Roger that. Roger that. Roger that. Yeah, so it, it's... Uh, like like I said, when I first saw it, I was really excited about like, oh man, it'd be cool to... to like, mech games in VR, that's probably something we should be doing. Totally. By now. 
Um, Sounds like a kind of more of a shooting gallery, though. Yeah, you know, this is, it's just, it's weapon, weapon, and then, you know, some shields. Yeah. And, like, the combat doesn't feel great. Like, there's punching, you know, you kind of get close occasionally and can punch some stuff, but, uh, you know, whatever. I, I've not played the full game, but... Do you have a radar or anything that lets you know where people are? No, it doesn't seem like it. You get you get some uh, icons on the edge of your screen here to kind of point in the direction of of enemies. Yeah, like a full Mech Warrior game seems like a no-brainer, <clears throat> or maybe not Mech Warrior specifically. Right. Well, yeah, but I mean, something like that. That's a you know, it's a yeah. Any any kind of cockpit game at yeah. some point makes pretty good sense for VR. Yeah. You have rockets now too. Just oh, okay. Problem solved. Yeah, if they, if they made, like, a TIE Fighter VR, I would totally buy a headset for something like that. Something with some depth to it. Yeah. I mean, you know, you can play Elite Dangerous, you know, like, like there are definitely, yeah. like, that style of well, yeah. I mean, space sim. Elite, yeah. Elite is a little open-ended for what I'm looking for. They've, they've added a lot to it. Yeah. Uh, in, you know, they, they, they added a whole fucking lot to Elite over the years. Maybe we um, find but yeah, it, it isn't quite necessarily what you're looking for, uh, I guess. Nanopacks incoming. Catch them and squeeze. Good nanopack. It's five o'clock somewhere. I should be able to smash these together and drink them like beers. <laughs> it's really <laughs> dumb that you can't do that. We're the only survivors. Keep your edge. Make I mean, I guess it would be dumb if you could, but that's the, kind of the point. Guardian. Yeah, you know, just the environment doesn't react at all to these shots. You know, I can't blow up the road. Your arms are capable of destroying most structures within reach. I suggest you. Oh, well, it's a story thing that I do it then, I guess, huh? No. Might I suggest using your fists again? Destroy the overpass and you destroy the. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's just it's a flat thing. It's kind of a bummer. I don't know. I don't I don't much care for it. But production values. I'm here to get some payback. Nah, I guess they're kind of mixed, you know? Like, it'd be cool if those buildings came down. Yep. <laughs> like, you know, when you're stomping around in a mech in a torn up city, you should feel like you are just fucking shit up all yeah, the time. Sure. And, and this just doesn't do any of that. So. Yeah, like you're mowing down that building to your left with like a bunch of glass windows and just nothing happening. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's Archangel. And I think that's gonna do it for us. All right. Here. Oculus Rift. Yeah. I still, I, I love the touch controllers. I think they just feel, they feel nice. Yeah. Um, so. But their USB-based sensor solution is, is kind of a hassle. Yeah. Oh, I guess we're back in the VR world. Shh. Correct. I suppose is just as good a time as any. All right. Mysterious. For us. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Virtual reality. Yeah. It's still real. I'll see you. Virtually.